Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna be playing around with a new ColourPop Blush Crush palette. And this is a Valentine's Day inspired makeup look, but you guys can wear this whenever. Date night, girls night. And you guys can play around with the shades as well. You can keep it pretty smoky with these darker colors, but also keep it light and flirty with the lighter pink colors. And if you guys are interested in how I achieved this look, then just keep on watching. I already prepped my skin and I will link everything I used down below. Just like my normal morning skincare. All right, I'm gonna start with some lip balm. It's my favorite lip balm. To prime my face, I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And then I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Jelly Primer as well. For foundation, I am using the Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation. I've been really loving this recently just because it matches my fake tan when it's more fading and then my favorite holy grail foundation which is a Too Faced Born This Way. Um, that color I use, the golden beige, is the perfect match when I'm like freshly tanned. What do you think? Love you. I love you. So cute. All right. So for concealer, I'm going to be using the Shape Tape and the color um, Light Neutral. All right, so for my cream contour, I'm just taking the Fit Me Maybelline Concealer in the shade Cafe. Also, don't mind this white hand and brown arm. <laughs> My tanner is fading. So now I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows really quickly, which is my usual Essence eyebrow pencil and then the Catrice eyebrow pencil. So I'm just gonna do that really quickly. Alright, so to clean my brows, I'm just taking the same concealer. Alright, now to set all of my cream products, I'm going to take this L'Oreal setting powder and putting that right underneath my eyes. All 
And then to set everywhere else, I am just gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me powder and translucent. Okay, so for bronzer, I'm taking the Morphe Vlogger. All right, so now for the eyes, we're gonna use the new ColourPop Blush Crush Palette, which are these really, really pretty, rosy, pinky, like mauve tones. And I thought this would be perfect for like a Valentine's Day makeup look. So now with a big white fluffy brush, I'm gonna take the color cheek to cheek and pop that right in the crease. Okay, so I think I want to do more of a halo eye effect. So I'm going to take this color, How Rouge. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I have no clue. <laughs> so I'm going to take that on a small pencil, like, blending brush. And I'm going to put that right on the outer corner. And I'm going to pack it on first. And just popping the same color in the inner corner. And whatever is left on my brush, I just kind of like to wing it out just a tiny bit. So now taking a small blending brush, I'm taking that same color just very lightly and tap off the excess and just kind of go over the areas right up here just to make sure there's no harsh lines. And for this step, you guys can hold the end of the blending brush that way it's not so harsh and you get more of like a seamless blend okay so for the lid color i'm gonna go in with this color blossom up which is this one right here it's really pretty so i'm gonna take a small flat shadow brush i'm gonna spray a little bit of the catrice dewy setting spray just to amplify the color a little bit more and tap off the excess. I'm just gonna pop that right in the middle. Oh my god, it's so pretty. And it's okay if you get a little bit on the purple because we're gonna go back in with that same color. Okay, so going in with the small pencil brush, we're gonna go back in with that same color we used before and pop that right on the sides. Okay, so now taking the deeper color in the palette, which is blush wine, we're gonna take the same brush and just pop that right in the outer corners to give it a little bit more depth. Okay, so with my finger, I'm going to take this color, pop a bottle. And just pop that right on the center of the lid. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take a little bit of the How Rouge and add a little bit more color in the crease. 
just very lightly. Okay, so for eyeliner, I'm going to use the ColourPop Gel Liner in the color Charmer. And I'm going to apply this up on my tight line area and as well as my waterline. And this color is like a really pretty Merlot purple shade. So I thought this would be perfect for the eye look. Now taking a small squared flat brush, I'm gonna go ahead and take the color How Rouge and apply that right underneath my lower lash line. And we're just gonna apply that right in the lower lash line. All right, now taking a small, tiny little blending brush, I'm gonna take the color cheek to cheek and just put that right underneath that purple shade just to blow out the lower lash line a little bit more. Okay, so for the inner corner highlight, I am gonna take the lightest shade in the palette, which is called Love Stick, and I'm just gonna apply that in the inner corner. And then the highlighter I am using today, I am going to put a tiny bit in my inner corner as well because I like me a shimmery inner corner highlight. I feel like the matte is okay. I feel like it doesn't really do much for the eye look. So I'm just like that. Alright, so for mascara, I'm just taking my Essence mascara and applying that just to prep for lashes. And you guys can always skip the lash part and just use your natural lashes, but I like the way the lashes complete the look. Alrighty, so for lashes, I'm just using the dramatic um, lashes that I get from Amazon. And I'm just going to apply that on my eye. Alrighty, so lashes are officially on. Took a hot minute. Now I'm gonna take a small angled brush and pop that blush wine color, tap off the excess, and just put it right over the lash band. Okay, so to finish off the face, I'm going to add some blush, which I'm gonna be using my Ofer one in the color Sweet Stuff. And I'm gonna pop that right on the apples of my cheeks. Okay, Luke, what are you doing? <laughs> Look at him. What are you doing? Are you on top of mommy? Hmm? He knows I'm going to work after this, so just like that. So pretty. Alrighty, so for highlighter, I'm gonna be taking the Ofra Nikki Tutorial Collaboration Highlighter. And I'm gonna pop this right on the tops of my cheeks. I think I put too much. Oops. <laughs> yeah, this is like really pigmented. Okay, I put way too much like right here. Ooh. Ooh. It's okay. And like I said earlier, I'm going to take this highlighter and put it in my inner corners. Because I'm sorry, but that matte life is not for me. <laughs> I was born to be a glowy goddess. No, I'm just kidding. 
yeah that matte life is not for me i'm all into the glow into the shimmer all right so for lips i'm gonna be taking this huda beauty lip liner in the color trophy wife which is a really pretty like mauvey pinky color and i'm just gonna apply that on my lips So I'm gonna take the Kylie liquid lipstick and the color Candy K and apply that all over. Okay, I really like how this lip combo came out. I thought it was gonna be really light, but it's not, but it looks cute. Okay, I'm digging this lip color. I'm digging it. Okay, so to set my face, I'm just using the Catrice Dewy setting spray. This is my favorite part. <laughs> this smells so good. Do you like mommy's makeup? Hmm? Hmm? He's so cute, my baby. You're gonna be eight months. Hmm? Do you like mommy's makeup? Alrighty, so this is the completed makeup look. I love the way it came out. It's so freaking pretty. I might wear this for Valentine's Day. I don't know. It came out so pretty. I'm obsessed with this lip combo. It might be my new favorite. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to help your girl out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.